So I was finally able to redesign the chicken run area. And give them a more natural habitat. So what you're looking at now is the coop and their coop door and their entrance to their chicken run area. So prior, I had garden fencing to about this location. So the garden fencing ran from about here and followed the path to the wood chip area here. It ran around and it stopped there. So now, and I had overhead netting off of the chicken roof and off of the uh, garden posts overhead for aerial protection. So I do have a 50 foot net that I plan on installing on posts and running um, to some of these trees here to provide overhead protection. In the summer they don't really need it because there's enough tree canopy cover with the leaves and the branches to give them shade and to protect them from any type of aerial predators. Plus I haven't really seen any hawks around. They've got plenty of food wherever they're at. They usually, the hawks usually don't come, come around until the late fall winter area when I guess food is scarce and um, there's not much canopy for the chickens to hide under and they start looking for um, some free meals. So I'm doing a deep litter compost system. So this is the first area where I'll dump food scraps and wood chips. Then we move over to the second system. So after this breaks down a little bit into smaller wood chips and to find a material it moves into the second bin area. It sits in here in this bin area and then eventually it makes it to the end the last pile and that's where I'll wheelbarrow out really good rich compost to put into my food forest system. So this is their new area now and I put uh, T-post, steel T-posts and I used um, a wire mesh fence this time and it's six feet high. I have no concerns about chickens flying over this six foot fence. Um, I don't think they'll be able to get that high. Plus they have plenty of area now where I don't think they'll feel the need to get out. But one thing about your fence, if your fence has any vulnerability, a chicken will find it. So I forgot to seal off a corner over here and after they were free ranging for several hours, one of them found that uh, hole and manipulated it and got on the other side. But once that's been sealed up, um, nobody's been getting out. So they've got quite a greater amount of free ranging ability now. And it's more of a natural habitat. Chickens actually came from, uh, I believe it's Southeast Asia, a uh, tropical climate, um, rainforest area. So they're used to lots of deep shrubbery and tree canopy cover. So this is more of their environment. So this fence runs all the way through my woods. She's uh, sunbathing over here. They do this weird ma maneuver where it looks like they're injured, but she's just fanning out her feathers to get as much sun exposure. So she's getting some of the sun over there. And so they've got plenty of little nooks and crannies to hide under. If there's any type of threat of predators, they can hide underneath trees and shrubbery. I'm gonna build them some low-lying shelters too for the fall time when there's not as much leaf canopy. So this fence runs all the way down to a little bit before my property line. My property line is right there, so I get the ability to get around if I need to. So I would say I've doubled their run area seven or eight times. They've got lots of tree canopy. I'm also very curious to see if they turn this area into 
a muddy mess. Uh, only time will tell. I think there's enough area for them where they're not going to completely destroy it, but uh, we'll see. We'll see how aggressive they get in here and how much damage they do. But I knew in this area that it was sufficient enough for 30 chickens to roam around and they had plenty of space and a decent amount of food, but they completely tore any grass or shrubbery to shreds, which I expected. So, time will tell. But this area I don't really care about because this is my deep litter compost system. So, it's going to be filled with wood chips anyway. So, all of their scraps, wood chips, and their feed will be given in this area. So, um, hopefully they do the majority of their pecking and scratching and digging in this area. And in this area, just more of lounging, finding bugs, and uh, nibbling on grasses. one of my hens letting everyone know that she just laid an egg. And that's about it. So I saved myself probably around four or five thousand dollars after I did some quotes. Um, that's what fence companies were looking for. Um, I thought it was gonna be a one or two day project but this turned out to be four solid days um, working by myself to get this done. Um, I also have this dog kennel area, which I kept the younger chickens in. I got a second batch of chickens, and they stayed in here um, until they were about 16, 18 weeks old, and then I introduced them to the rest of the flock. Um, I did have a tarp cover over here, but as you can see, it kind of bent in. The tarp didn't stay taut. And when it rained, it, it kind of caved in, and from the weight of the rain, even though I came out here daily and emptied it out, it did kind of bend this, this cross beam. So I'm going to build a bamboo roof structure for this pen, and that should be sufficient enough, and I'll call it a day on this. But this is, this is invaluable because when I do get baby chickens, they can hang out in here, and they can get accustomed to the old, the, the older chickens, so the transition is a lot easier. taking full advantage of their new space. 